everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. I tested out um, all of the Revlon lipsticks that I had and you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought, why not do the same kind of video, only this time I am going to show you all of my MAC lipsticks. I have quite a few of these lipsticks and they range from very old to oldish to like some some of them are quite brand new so I thought I would get all of them put them onto my lips and yeah we, I think we'll just get onto this because it's going to be a very very long video so the first one is this one this is um, the MAC Cosmetics lip tensity lipstick in medium rare um, and this is what it looks like uh, and this is what I have on my lips at the moment obviously I've got my lip liner on um, so it will look slightly different but it's a very 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 uh, I would say like a peachy beige colour a pinky beige colour it's really really nice and with these lip tensity ones they stay on your lips for such a long time it is absolutely amazing how how, how do they do it I really understand um, they are they're not drying I would say they're like a cream, a thick creamy texture. They're not lightweight. You will definitely feel it on your lips, that's for sure. But they stay on for a very long time. And then uh, the second one I am going to show you is uh, again from the same same line. So this is again the lip tensity one. This is a bright peachy orange, and this is called uh, Post Modern. Again, I really like this these two actually I do wear quite a lot this one uh, I literally had to take out on my purse because I wear it a lot especially to work and stuff and because it stays on for a long time uh, and it's like a neutral color it helps this one is a beautiful like a corally, corally pink color it's beautiful it's really really nice um, and again with these ones uh, they stay on your lips for a very very long time so if you're looking for something like that then please do check them out I'm not sure if they still do these or not, I'm sure they do, but yeah, I, they are my two most, I wouldn't say most worn, but I think I, I do reach for them quite a lot, so these are the two lip tensity ones. Now, the third one is, uh, this is the Cream Sheen Lipstick uh, from uh, MAC, so this is the Cream Sheen called Crosswires. Um, in the bullet, it looks very, very neutral. Like on the camera, it looks very dark. It's not as dark. So this is what it looks like. It's, I would say, like it's a very a lighter version of this one. Um, I almost feel like this is a lighter version of like if you want to wear a coral, but you but not too coral. Like you want like a beigey coral. I think this is something that you would. This is something that you would really like because it's a coral but it's like a muted down coral and again the cream sheen uh, finishes are absolutely beautiful. Next one is the matte uh, and it's called Kinda Sexy so this is what it looks like. And again uh, the matte formulas of MAC as you would know are, are quite drying I'm not going to lie. They are they are quite drying um, but they stay up but if you've um, if you moisturize your lips properly then you shouldn't have a problem so this is kind of sexy again this is a very nice light very light terracotta beige color uh, amazing for, for nude lips if you are light to medium skin tones then this would look absolutely beautiful if, uh, with you you can um, also put some gloss on top if you would like some dimension because the, I, I find the MAC, uh, matte lipsticks are quite flat looking as compared to let's say like the Huda Beauty or the Fenty Beauty ones. Next we have uh, one of my absolute favourites so this is the Luster finish uh, and this is called Lustering. Lustering? Yeah, Lustering. As you can see I've, I've used quite a lot of this actually. It, on the camera it looks very bright but when you swatch it, so when you swatch it it's actually like a very comfortable pink I don't know why I use the word comfortable it's like a very I would say like a very um, a light pinky peachy pink uh, it's not completely like pink in your face pink but it is definitely in the pink family um, and again the cream sheen 
is, is it's, I think this is one of the colours that would look nice on a lot of different skin tones only because it's a very safe colour. It's not like a bright pink, it's not a bright coral, it's something in between and again very very comfortable to wear. Okay next one is one from a cream sheen, another from the cream sheen line and it's called Pretty Boy. Mine's a bit battered and butchered unfortunately however this color is absolutely beautiful now this is the kind of color again on the camera it looks pinky but actually in real life it it pulls towards uh, like an orange more than a pink so this is definitely I would say a combination of this and peach uh, and orange so if you add this and orange you would get this again um, it's a cream sheen so I think it melted in my bag uh, which is why it's a bit you know it's a bit damaged right next one is from uh, the matte range and this is called please me again it's a very neutral color and I say neutral because um, you can lighten it you can darken it but eventually it's a very everyday um, taupey colour but like with a dash of pink can go really well with, uh, with a slightly darker heavier makeup and it can also go really well with lighter makeup if you want to use it like on an everyday basis. Right so the next one is uh, and I think this is quite a famous one this is from the Luster line and this is called Patisserie. Now with Patisserie um, I don't usually wear these kinds of lipsticks <clears throat> but I was a convert to this because um, because you can as you can see it's a luster so it's not a matte the only problem with matte MAC matte lipsticks are that because they are quite matte they like they literally stick onto your lips and make them sometimes look a bit too dry um, however the reason why I got patisserie is only because I wanted to have at least one lipstick which was close to like an extra extra nude colour. It is a cream sheen and it's called Speed Dial. In my opinion this is a straight up pink. It's baby pink. Uh, I know baby pink is slightly, I would say people say it's baby pink is slightly lighter. But I honestly think this is an actual pink. So like this is the most pink I would say. Anything lighter than this would become like a nudie colour in my opinion. But again, this is an absolute beautiful pink and because it's a cream sheen, it's my favourite kind of finish in MAC. If I Did I say that? No, I probably didn't. So yeah, cream sheen is my absolute favourite um, finish in the MAC Cosmetics line. Now the next one is again a cream sheen and this is called Fanfare. Again, I think this is quite a famous one um, because the kind of colour colour payoff it has. It's a very neutral colour, so although you might say that's not neutral, that might be like too dark or too light for someone. But the reason why I call this neutral is because the colour, you can't really put your finger on it. It's Sometimes it pulls pink, sometimes it pulls beige, but sometimes it pulls coral. So it's somewhere in between, and which is why I like it. And again, it's cream sheen, so I like it anyway. Um, yeah, and I think it's really, it's like a really good, everyday cut colour you can wear it with any kind of eye makeup and it would look fabulous either way right so the next one we have is the amplified <clears throat> line um, and this is called up the amp now when I bought this I was going through a phase okay I was going through a phase and um, I just wanted a lipstick which was not red not pink not coral not neutral not brown hence I bought this which is purple now I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea but if you wear this properly with a really good lip liner it looks absolutely amazing. Um, it is a cool toned purple so it's not it's not like a ready purple it's like a greyish purple but it looks really nice. It, 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 I mean it's straight up purple let's be honest but it's just so nice on the lip. Next is um, the Lustre Lustre formula and it's called Plumful. Again, um, I'm just keeping towards the purple side. So again, on camera, 
it looks very very magenta bricky like it's absolutely not if you can see this in real life you will understand why <laughs> I'm saying that uh, Plum 4 is a cross between a purple and I would say like a dark pink it's not as dark as what it looks like on my hand uh, and, and, and on camera it's it's definitely definitely much more lighter very very wearable uh, I would say it's like a combination of a purple and like a dark beige but obviously in the camera it looks like it's maroon it's not please trust me you'll see the swatches on the lips as well it's it's not like that absolutely not the next one is a cream sheen and this is called speak louder this is also one of my favorites and I've used this quite a lot even for work um, and it's this one so this is like I would say like a bright pinky coral again on the camera it look I don't know why it looks red on camera it's not it's not at all red it is very much an orangey peachy color but with a hint of pink so if you want to wear an orangey peachy color um, but you don't want it to be too orange then this is definitely your color because it has a hint of pink in it which makes it really really wearable right this is um, a luster lipstick and I think this is the only lipstick only lipstick of Mac that I have bought three times now um, and it's this now it looks like a as you can this is my third one it's I'm completely nearly finished as well this literally lives in my my handbag I don't think I have any handbag where this was not a permanent stay and this is what it looks like it doesn't look anything special does it but I promise you it is beautiful and I say this because a it stays even though it's a luster lipstick it sticks to your lips it's very comfortable to wear it doesn't wear off and even when you just eat and drink and do whatever you want it even if it fades away it fades away like like with a with a hint of like gleam on your lips I can't explain it it's so beautiful again it's a combination of um, like beige and pink and like a hint of purple it's a really 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 nice color and if you've got cool undertones in your skin like me then this would be your absolute everyday cut next one is a luster one uh, this is called love lawn I almost think I've already done this but anyway uh, this is what the lipstick looks like again one of my favorites I've absolutely finished this so after syrup this is the one that I bought this is my second one uh, nearly finished and it's this over here so again a straight up pink color like an everyday lovely color lovely sheen to it very comfortable to wear if you want to wear it on your lips without a lip liner you can do so it will look like your lips but better like a like a light um, like a glossy one and if you want to wear it with a lip liner then it will definitely shine through one of my recent ones and it's just look at the packaging so beautiful so this is the limited edition one um, which I believe was was it the Game of Thrones edition I'm not really sure it's a beautiful absolute like a perfect brown again in the camera it looks like it's black it's not black um, it's a very, very beautiful, cool toned brown. This is a satin finish and it's called Paramount. So this is what it looks like. Again, a beautiful, beautiful brown color. Um, I think this would be absolutely perfect in autumn and winter. Again, just simple eyes, a bit of um, eyeliner. Of course, I don't wear eyeliner and I don't know how to wear eyeliner, but if you do, then do that and then wear this on on your lips and you are good to go so this one is um, a metro matte and I think this was a limited edition or maybe it's not I'm not really sure and it's called dangerous this is what it looks like again it's one of the reds um, it is matte um, with this one especially it's very very matte so as you can see it's very close on the camera it looks very red but in real life it's like um, orangey red so 
it's not as dull as it looks on camera. I'm sorry, the light's horrible today because the sun keeps coming and going. Yeah, this one again, it's a red. It's a, it's the Metro Matte Red, which means the formula is slightly lighter than normal mattes, but it's still matte, so it will make your lips look quite dry and feel, even, even if it doesn't look look dry, it will make you your lips look uh, feel dry. Definitely a colour if you want to really, you know, stand out. Uh, next we have, of course, uh, one of everyone's favourites. <laughs> it's a satin and it's mac red. So I don't think I even need to swatch this, but you know, for people who don't know. Now the mac red is an absolute blue red. It's a blue red, it's the perfect red, which is why people love it. Um, and it's very versatile. So if you can see the difference between this and that, now you understand. This is more of a blue red. And this is more of like an orangey red but um, out of the two I think the matte red I like more only because the formula is satin so it's not drying and it's very comfortable on the lips and of course it stays on for young. Sorry for the lighting I've had to um, switch on my my ring light or even though it's daylight outside but it's so cloudy and so grey I just cannot deal. Anyway <laughs> Um, right, the next one is a mini, and this is what it looks like. Um, this one is called, it's a matte one, and it's called Chili. Now, fun fact about this one, this is the only matte lipstick that does not dry out my lips, and I don't know why. This is a beautiful, rusty, orange lipstick. It is so beautiful that I now think I should have gotten the bigger size. Um, I don't know... I don't know why I got the smaller one. Um, I think maybe because it was like a different colour and I wasn't sure whether they would look nice or not. But it looks so nice. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, again, it's a combination of orange and brown and red. Yeah, it's just beautiful and it's so comfortable. This one is the Huggable Lip Colour Out For Passion. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's a very, it's a very nice, um, like a very light, comfortable, glossy, peachy, pink colour. I know I've got loads and loads of these colours, but that's the kind of colour I usually wear anyway. And so I tend to gravitate towards them. Um, but this is a really, really comfortable, very beautiful looking colour. Um, sorry, the, the light's just gleaming off it. But if you see here, it's like a peach peachy pink colour I want to say. The next one is a uh, Sheen Supreme lipstick and this is called Ultra, I can't see what it looks like, what, what, it, what the name is because it's got a number on it, Ultra something. I'll find it and I'll add it here somewhere. So this is what it looks like. Again, um, a peachy pink colour. It's very similar to this one. I think the only difference between these two would be this one is a slightly purpley pink and this is like a corally orange colour um, but they are quite similar and again the formulas are the same but the colours like this one's a pink and this one's like a lighter one this is more sheer this has slightly more pigment but again very comfortable to wear um, you can easily wear this as a lip gloss to be honest right this next one is again a Sheen Supreme lipstick and this one is called Quite the Thing. So this is what it looks like. Um, again, it's a different kind of colour. It's a more purpley colour. And I have worn this so many times. Now, the up the amp that I had was a straight up purple. No qualms about it. Straight up purple, that's what it was. This one, however, is a more wearable purple, I think, only because it's a it's got like a combination of a pink and purple I can't really put my finger on why this is more wearable and that's not I almost think it might just be the combination or I think it might just be down to the formula that one's uh, I think a sheen formula or a luster formula which is much more bright has more pigment while this one because it's a sheen it's slightly gloss glossy so you can get away with it almost I think 
um, but yeah this one is really nice I usually wear this again with my lip liner um, because sometimes I find that they can like smudge here and there one I want to mention is this one which is called which is again a sheer supreme lipstick and it's called Zen Rose uh, it's also one of my oldest ones so it's quite in a bad shape but this lipstick I actually like quite a lot again purple but again I will say it's much more wearable than up the amp it definitely is and I think again it's down to the formula so now I think you can see the difference in this and that that's more like a um, ready like a reddish purple this one is definitely a cooler bluer purple but because of its um, its finish it looks nicer again I wear it with my brown lip liner you can wear it with a like I think a red one as well but to be honest I don't really think it would um, sh they would match to be honest um, because if you want the purple to show the only way they can it can really show is if it's got like a neutral um, color so that which is why I use brown with it so, um, yeah those are all my lipsticks from MAC cosmetics I hope you guys like this please please give this a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this and yeah request any kind of videos you like if you want me to uh, review something or talk about a certain product or a certain brand then please let me know and yeah please please support my channel it will mean the world to me and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye